Marco Lufler sounds great. It starts just as it should, it idles great, it accelerates great, and it holds wide open throttle really well as well. But actually, this has an air leak. And I'd noticed it because every so often the idle will start to fluctuate slightly. So I thought I'd come out and I'd test it. And I wanted to share with you the way that I do a quick and dirty test just to give me an idea as to where the leak is. And my preference is map gas. And the reason why I like this is because chemicals like brake cleaner and carburetor cleaner that some people use can damage plastics, it can make them fade, especially carb cleaner and also rubber parts as well. They don't fare too well with rubber parts. So map gas is just a nice, clean and easy way of doing it. So we'll start the machine up and what I'll do is make sure the gas is completely off. I'll pull the trigger in to give me a spark, turn the gas on, push the lockout button down. Now there's no flame here and I'm ready to now test it. showing me that on the right side, the recall starter side, we've got a leak somewhere. I would suspect oil seal, but it could be a leaking base gasket. It could be somewhere around the crankcase halves themselves. There might be a slight crack in there. We can't, we can't say for certain, but it gives us a very good idea as to where to look and the fact that we do have an air leak. I also put it around the intake manifold as well and it didn't change RPM but of course if I bought it around the air filter area of course it's going to decrease, it's going to change RPM but we've got a very strong reading right by the right hand side crank seal so that's where my suspicion is. So we're set up for the pressure and vacuum test now and we suspected it was the recoil side. Let's get you set up for that. Can hear it already and what i like to do is to put you can see the needles dropping i like to put a bit of fuel on there you can use oil as well fuel's a bit thinner so it tends to uh, avoid that seal blocking up what can happen is if you use an oil it there we go you can hear it straight away what can happen is if you use an oil, it can actually stop the air leak to a certain extent temporarily and it may throw you uh, throw you off guard thinking that actually there's nothing wrong with it at all. We'll flip over the other side. This is the PTO side seal. And again, if I fill it up with some fuel, just to double check this isn't leaking. This didn't show any signs of a leak. So we'll do the same thing again. Just double check. Make sure that fuel doesn't uh, get sucked in. And we can just gently spin the crankshaft. What size are we, 14 was there? That must be a 17. So there's no leak there at all. The fuel's still remaining. Of course, we've dropped some on the gauge because of the other side, but none of that side was sucked in. So we know that it's only the recoil side, not the PTO side. However, we change seals in pairs. We don't just change one. If one's gone, the chances are the other one's not too far behind. Well, but uh, a real quick, dirty, easy way of just seeing if you have an issue. It's not gonna pinpoint it 100% accurately, but it will give you a very good idea that you've got a leak and the rough area that the leak is occurring. So I hope it helps.